Hello friends, welcome back to e-commerce project in Laravel 10. Last video we have discussed how to make a price filtering inside the product. Suppose you have changed the price and we are getting the data. So we have did in last video. But we have made also one mistake in last video because I have checked today so I found the mistake. So we need to solve this first mistake. Suppose I am going to home furniture. So you can see it, here is the data getting. But this is the home furniture. Here is no any product. So we don't want to show the data. Because of he is calling directly here, suppose you need to go to views inside the product inside list.blade.php. So just you can scroll down. So you can see this is the like a update time here. Here is a calling. So we need to stop because of we are calling like two time API. Let's go to network. So you can see it once I will refresh the page so you can understand. Okay. So you see two time API calling. So we don't want to do like two time API calling like one space reference because of we are getting the data about like old data. So how we can fix So just we need to fix like this like we need to declare one variable like where is equal to i is equal to zero you can make i is equal to zero and you need to make condition here if i is equal to is equal to zero or i is equal to one so it's going to inside. And here you make i plus plus and also we need to write this part inside the else part because of is a two time addition this is the reasons like one zero means is going to here and one means is also going to go here after you can find out two so it's going to automatic else part because we are moving the data like a here price filtering let's refresh the page so you can understand better way now you can see no api calling suppose i can change it like right now so you can see lots of api calling so this is the lots of api calling we also need to stop okay we need to also need to stop so how we can stop i can explain before you are new in the channel other in this series so please subscribe here and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so you always get the notification you can start immediately new thing learning also we have one official website like rlsolutioncode.com inside script menu do you want to buy anything so you can go buy and you can learn something new so do you want to buy any project so you just go and buy and again request please subscribe okay because we need a more more family okay so let's go to home and furnitures and i refresh the page so this category again data there so we don't work second point we have discussed like a i am calling like here like a multiple time api suppose i just go here here go i select this one I select this one like a, like a, i will call like a multiple you see so is no need to call like this we need to block old request and we need to work new request so here you need to write like a simple code suppose you are calling this function like a filter form so just go here like where is the our code like filter form like here where we need to make like a where xar x a r whatever we will do you want to like you can make it so no need where xr is equal to first we need to declare this xr so means here you can declare like where xr is equal to <coughs> not is equal to directly you can declare now we need to block here our system so i already copy like my other website and i can put just directly like this so just you can put like this and after we are about you can see like this red state so what do you want to know more about like a uh, one minute i can change the variable okay xsr whatever do you want to like your variable name you can do it i just like it like this variable name so i will always do like this this is the like our your ajax service is a blocking ready state for not is equal to four so it's going to inside and we are abots you can see it here so this is the simple code a very easy code you need to write in your code okay so let's save these files and just go back again refresh the page so you can easily understand now i just change here you see all is blocking you see but just is the last one is a calling you see it so this is the reason we need otherwise like a server side dots of code so i go back again so only last one is calling you see all is blocking you can see it here so this is the like you are doing very quick this is the reason suppose you are doing like a here let's clear this ones like furnitures i see two so last one automatic block you can see it and here is it getting the data okay this is the issue has been solved like multiple time like ajax calling your browser is like hanging other your server hanging this is the issue we have solved in here now we need to solve like other issue 
suppose here is the product not found suppose i will make the filtering so product available so this is the wrong suppose i make like this okay this category against no product but i just make null so here you can see like product found so it is wrong we don't need like this so what we can do we need to pass here category and subcategory data because of this is the category whatever you can choose we need to pass inside ajax okay suppose you are making filter so we need to found otherwise you are not making filter so we don't want to show like a footwear and shoes footwear means product here so just go to code inside and here is the input field we have used inside hidden like here you know me know okay like if we need to make like copy this subcategory and category id so here make i can make like old subcategory id means old means like here you are choosing this one suppose i am going to here like a uh, e-com electronics not electronics i go to smartphone so here is like category and this is the subcategory so means old one old subcategory id and here we don't need id here we need to provide direct our value and also we can make here like a old category id so how we can get you are already getting inside above variable just you can scroll up so you know like you get subcategory id and category id you see so just copy and just scroll down and you can make inside value so you need to use like a if is not empty so going to inside okay very simple very easy no any difficulty is not empty so going to inside and we can put here like a subcategory id this is the category id is there this is the old category id we need to change this variable but better we can change the name we don't want to change the variable because i have made a mistake okay like here is a category so subcategory id and we need to do now also let's copy paste two times so it's good and here we can make like a old category ID. so just we can change the variable like a category where is the category this is the category variable just scroll down and you can put here you can see it like subcategory and category okay so here is the old one works so but i can make text so you can understand better way let's save this files just go back again and we can refresh the page so you can see it here so two and one suppose i am going to like other one so these are like three and one means this is the subcategory this is the category suppose i am choose like a fashion inside men clothing so here you can see like eight and two meaning about it is working very well okay so let's make hidden again we don't want to show and oh my we need to open your spec element here and after you can search here and we are going to choose like any category kids and clothing can choose and after you can go to request so you can see it here data is passing you see old category subcategory id suppose here data there like subcategory and inside data there so we don't want to work this id suppose here data not there so we need to work for this id okay so it's very simple let's go back again inside a app inside models inside like a product models otherwise do you want to go like a flow why so also go but here I know where is the code there. This reason I go directly. So here we can write like else. Very simple. You can see it like here. Like product model inside get product. And here is a category subcategory there. So just you can put here like else. And here is a subcategory ID. And here is a category ID. So it's simple. You can copy paste two lines. And put here. Now we are getting data inside a form. So here you just use like this request and you can change here like a category one minutes I made a mistake spelling mistakes and here also you can change okay here is a old subcategory ID so just you can put like a old subcategory ID and here also you can put just you can remove and put here and here is a old category ID you can copy and you can put here okay this is very simple very easy let's save and just go back and refresh the page suppose i can choose now so you can't found suppose i can choose again so also you can't found because of now working this is the id like old cat subcategory id in old category id you can see it here okay otherwise before you found the products suppose you can choose colors so same thing is the old category subcategory ID work this reason you can't found let's go to like we can choose like shoes and footwear so you can see it's working very well 
suppose you can choose like a human clothing so you can find out but right now you are there in main clothing main clothing inside no any category is see zero but you can remove this ones so only you can see it like five products and here you can choose so you can see it like a seven products so meaning about like it's working suppose i can remove all so working like a, our hidden like a old one like a fashion and main clothing so you can't found the product before you found the products so this is the issue has been solved okay here is a viewer so like a, this is a not issue but we uh, mistake about developing line not mistake also we are not develop this is the problem okay so this is the remaining we are short out also we are multiple ajax calling at a time this is the also short out and also we are short out like a price filtering this is the issue we are also short out so next video we can make like this the counting also we need to make like a page ignition using the ajax like you click on the load more so automatic data found otherwise we are using like page here so you click on so we need to found the data so this thing we are short out like a next video in this video we can cover like a multiple ajax calling and also category subcategory wise whatever you there here because you are made a filter after without filter and also we are sure about the price issue okay so next video we can do like a page ignition using the ajax your click and we are getting the data and i again request you are new in the channel other in the series inside error solution please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so you always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning and also do you want to buy scripts just go to error solution code.com and you can see it like script menu you can buy and thank you for watching error solution